change the oil seal when this uh, rocker spindle when I use the bike yeah, you get a little pool of oil there or oil just there and it runs down and runs down and it all sits in there and, and, and starts burning in there really and then it runs down the, the barrels there not a lot only a little bit but um, a little bit is too much <laughs> I need to change this gasket on these um, caps as well because it's a bit it's a bit oily there. So hopefully it would be a, it's a pretty easy easy job I suppose. You can do it without taking all this off. Just loosen the bolt that holds the uh, the oil pipe in on the other side, and we should uh, should be good to go. Let's move the bike so you can see it a bit better. See how easy those gaskets come off if you cut if you coat them in grease before you put them on. Right, them two um, tappets in there. You want to loosen them off. You want a bit of, a nice bit of play on them. So you just find the find a com, find a compression compression stroke. That don't really matter, does it? One, <coughs> anyway, that's slightly loose. That's slightly loose, but you just want to loosen them right off so that we can have a bit of a play between them and the rocker spindle. Two. I'm going to loosen, take off the, the nut for the oil pipe. Washes, a couple of washes, and we get a rubber mallet, and we should be able to, to tap that through. Right, with that um, spindle, you've got to knock that spindle through quite a way um, so that you can get the tool on the, um, the spindle that holds the o ring in place and, and squishes it together. To make it easier to, to insert it into the actual um, rocker box, so to knock that spindle a bit further through, you want something that won't damage this as much. <laughs> this is quite loose now, anyway, because we've um, freed it up. So you just like tap it through, 
and we could actually take that spindle all the way out but we don't want to do that otherwise the um, you know, um, rockers will drop off and then we'll have problems you don't want to come too far out You're just enough to get that on past the o-ring like so and right let me just show you something before we pull that out even further because inside here there's like washers between these rockers and stuff like that that you don't want to drop inside otherwise all the slots got to come off so there we go that o-ring off get the o-ring off and then put a new one on Fit. Why doesn't it fit? That's not good. That should slide on there. Somebody bashed this in before. That's not good. That's not good. Then I'm going to have to um, file this down a little bit so that it fits inside the tube, which means I've got to push that all the way out. I use a long bit of thread to push that all the way through and now I'm going to need to do is just to um, put, a, put a file around the end of that just so that I can get that through that tooling so I'll be back in a second through now so I can put the so I'll put the o-ring on stick the o-ring on first that's what it does it hooks onto the o-ring and then squeezes the o-ring as this is tapered it squeezes the o-ring against the job and then we put that in like that back through the rocker box and hopefully through all the uh, all the washers I might have to jiggle it about to get that in through all the washers. But then um, let's do that now before it rains. Hold it against that.
nice day, look at that. Right. So now, whack the copper washer. There's already a copper washer behind there, so we put our nut back on. Tighten that up. It's actually turning the spindle around. Tight enough. Yeah. Now all I've got to do is set the tappets. They're both in now. So give that a bit of a clean up. Give that a bit of a clean up around there where all the oil's been. So you can zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. Got both the spindles in. I'll give that a bit of a clean up round here. Do the tabbits. Let's do the tabbits. Oh, blind. I'll get them done and then the jobs are good on that, I reckon. Let's see what I've got to clean that up. STP carb spray. Got to be done, really, innit? So it's taken me about a thousand years to look for the Allen key. <laughs> and what we've done, got them on the um, highest, highest lift. I'm using a six foul. You know, wait there in there. Come on, in you go. Just wanted to get in there. And then wind that down. So it's snug as a bug in a rug there and I'm going to back that off just a fraction this is where you drop everything so I've got him where I want him really more or less I'm going to do another check Difficult to get right down there, really. Right, that's got a. You can feel the the grip, so that's that's exactly where I want it, really. I just can't get to that fucking nut. Nip it up a bit. Check again. Yeah, you can feel just a, it's just, just gripping that feeler gauge, that's where I want it. Right, let's wind the other one right in. Just nip that up a bit. 
Yeah, it's got a nice, a nice fit there. Right, I'm not going to use um, uh, grease on this one. I'm going to use this stuff for a change. Flange sealant. Going to try that. It's quite sticky, this shit. In fact, it's really fucking sticky. So hopefully it'll uh, work. All right, that's these gaskets that you get for these. All right, fucking wafer thin, fag paper thin. And if that um, cover's warped in any way, you're going to get leaks out of it. So I'm going to try this Loctite stuff. I've, I've used it before. It's fucking, it's right shitty stuff. Right shitty stuff. I'll show you. It's a bit like um, black Honda Bond, to be honest. If anyone's ever used Honda Bond. And it's like a, a gluey, gluey shit. But it certainly won't um, leak, that's for sure. What I'd do is I'd do it on the on this face and I'll put the gasket on because it will stick to this and then I'll do the, the other face and then just put them both together. Alright. Line it up nicely like glue. Sit with that, I think. Put the tank bank on, back on. Job's a good one. Let it run a little bit. See if we got any leaks anywhere. Job's good on that. No leaks under there. She's pucker. So that's another job out of the way. Right, it's supposed to be raining today, but it doesn't look like much rain. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>